in Oak Brook is the only operating water wheel grist mill in the state. Plus, it's only one of three authenticated underground railroad stations in Illinois. Mr. and Mrs. Growie, prior to the Civil War, were harboring runaway slaves in their mill. They'd be hidden here for a day or two and then uh, taken into Chicago. Now, Mr. Growie, uh, one of the early settlers, built this mill between 1847 and 1852. It was a grist mill, a grist being the old word for grain. The first floor was the, uh, the milling floor. That's where the actual grinding took place. The second floor held a huge garner, uh, containers that would store grain. And the top floor had machinery for uh, cleaning the grain before it was ground. And there was a bolting machine up there. And a bolting machine separated the bran from the white flour. And all of that uh, machinery on all the floors was operated by the, the great water wheel that you see behind me here or one similar to it. When he opened up in 1852, there was already a dam here. Two men had operated a sawmill since 1837. Uh, he dug this, it's called the uh, mill race. Today we grind with electricity, uh, but water is actually, the wheel is, uh, is not doing any work, but water is turning the wheel. And that has been true since about 1939, when the uh, CCC and the WPA had taken this abandoned mill, it was abandoned in 1924, and turned it into what you see today. And they brought in engineers, archaeological engineers, to uh, determine what Mr. Drawey had, and then they, they duplicated it. Behind me is uh, one of Mr. Drawey's two mills, two mill machines. Uh, in, the, in the wooden housing are two enormous stone discs, about four feet across. The top one weighs about 2,400 pounds. The bottom stone is stationary. The top one turns over it. Grain is fed into the stones through an opening in the top stone called the eye of the stone. And the stones have grooves cut in them. And those grooves, as the top and bottom stone pass each other, those grooves become shears. So although we say we're grinding the grain, in fact, we're shearing the grain. And the barrel-like part of the, uh, the mill captures the grain. It flows around and falls uh, out an opening. Every farmer in the area would be in here at some point with their grain. They'd have their grain ground, and they'd take the flour home. They didn't take all the flour home because Mr. Growie was paid in grain, not in uh, money. Once uh, upstairs was different than it is now, when they made it a museum, they chose to uh, use the second floor to exhibit uh, objects, tools, uh, things that would have been found around, uh, like in a barn. And there's also a, uh, a loom, an old loom up there, and we usually have uh, someone up there demonstrating uh, weaving and talking about the process. And the top floor, where once Mr. Growie had machinery, there are now small period rooms, a uh, child's room, there's a Victorian parlor, and we have some spinning wheels, and we have delightful uh, crafters up there. The museum is uh, operated by the uh, DuPage Growey Mill Corporation, a nonprofit corporation that was created specifically to operate the Growey Mill. We demonstrate grinding, and of course, we sell all the corn that we grind. And it's fabulous, freshly ground, stone ground cornmeal. You've got a little taste of what life was like in the past. You, uh, you get a little bit of a view of uh, farm life. The Mill and Museum also hosts a popular weekend program called Artisans of the Month, which demonstrates early crafts and activities.
For more information on the Growl Mill and Museum, call 630-655-2090 or log on to their website at www.growlmill.org.